greetings and welcome to another LGR video about some weird computer mice. I've been, uh, well, going through a whole bunch of storage and putting together a new place to put all the LGR things that I cover on this channel. And you know, it's kind of inevitable. I keep finding stupid mice. It is quite the selection this time. We've got some Viagra, a uh, bullet, and uh, a four-dimensional mouse. Yeah, let's take a look. <laughs> Why do I have this crap? Well, this one shouldn't be too hard to cover. This is the Viagra mouse made by a company <laughs> in China on behalf of Pfizer in 2002. Yeah, this right here is a, a mouse shaped and looking like uh, with the livery and everything of Mark Martin's 2002 Ford Taurus stock car emblazoned with the Viagra logos and such. I raced in uh, NASCAR races in the early 2000s. Um, and yeah, this is very much in the long tradition of car-themed computer mice. You know, there's the Corvette mouse that I talked about before on this series. And of course, the PT Cruiser mouse and the Camaro mouse and even other NASCAR-themed mice. However, this one really is all about the Viagra there, or the Sildenafil Citrate, better known as the Pfizer brand of Viagra. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, if you're not familiar, the uh, infamous little diamond-shaped blue pill there was originally developed as a treatment for heart-related chest pain, but it had some other uses that popped up uh, during testing. So it was later approved for medical use in the United States and European Union in 1998 as an erectile dysfunction treatment. And you know, it's been popular ever since. Now, the question does remain, why does Viagra have a computer mouse uh, shaped like a car? I mean, you know, other than the obvious, well, you know, car, mouse computer products are popular enough. You know, there was a lot of stiff competition for those things, but this was not sold in stores. So it really wasn't competing at all. Uh, no, in fact, this was given away to doctors and pharmacists and those in the medical profession. It's a weirdly common practice, at least in the US. I don't know about elsewhere, but yeah, there's like $2 billion a year here that's given out in gifts and payments to those in medicine. And it's just, it seems weird to me. I don't know, I've never quite understood it. I mean, the fact that we advertise medicines and uh, treatments so heavily on TV and everything else too is also weird. Whatever, let's get this out of its, uh, protective sheath here. Looks like it's very much yellowed over time and is taped in place. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so we have our three and a half inch floppy, which is suitably not very floppy at all. It's quite stiff. And uh, yeah, we got a mouse setup where uh, I don't know, just mouse setup, <laughs> the most generic stuff possible, I imagine. And there's the, uh, the car itself. The wheels don't move. It is a ball mouse. I'm assuming it's just, the most generic ooh, OEM design. That is a very lubed up ball. You see that? I've never seen that much lubrication. I, <laughs> I swear, I didn't do this. This is just the most lubed up mouse ball I've ever seen. That is very smooth. And uh, this is PS2, kind of interesting in the 2000s. Not going to the USB. It is at least a three button mouse. No scroll wheel, but you sort of click on the tip here, the, the hood of the car. And then, uh, yeah, actually it's not a bad click at all. In terms of the shape, it's also not too bad. The spoiler does spoil a little bit of the fun that sort of is immediately digging into uh, the bottom of my hand, but otherwise not bad. You can even see through the windows a little bit. Look at that. <laughs> all right, well, let's go ahead and get this uh, plugged in and turned on and see what it's like to use this guy in action and uh, hopefully it won't last longer than four hours. All right, Windows 98 machine going Megalumina Monster down there. And uh, first off, I would like to retract any and all statements that may have been even slightly positive about this piece of crap mouse. Uh, let me get a closer look and I'll tell you why. So the reason this sucks is because it's awful. Um, look at this. Immediately just trying to use it, it does that because there's this, this slant on the back part of it there and where your hand nest, or at least where my hand naturally wants to nestle in place, 
Uh, it just makes it do a wheelie. Uh, this thing needs a wheelie bar. Can't say I've uh, had a mouse that needed that before. And uh, not only that, but so because of that, I want to naturally have it right here so that my palm is resting on the mouse pad instead of the back spoiler making it do a wheelie. But of course the buttons are all the way up here. <laughs> just a terrible design and of course that spoiler itself is still cutting into uh, my hand there with um, some sharp plastic I didn't even notice how sharp it was that is literally able to cut you if you were to rub it the wrong way and then finally the um, the cord this is as far out as I can pull it and that is with the computer pushed all the way up under this desk I actually measured it it is a almost three feet long cord I don't think I've ever seen a mouse cord that short that's not meant to be uh, connected to a keyboard or something. It doesn't make any sense in any possible way, whatever. Let's try this garbage with its software. You have this little program called mouse software that hangs out in your taskbar clock area and just a, oh, I hate using this. <laughs> Seriously, I've used it for like a minute and it's just, the worst. Anyway, it allows you to change what your buttons do so the middle mouse button can do things like open a web browser or horizontal scroll or open email or find computer. Just all these Windows shortcuts instead of like actually doing what a middle mouse button would normally do. And I don't think that the ball is working very well either. Despite the excess lubrication, it certainly didn't help anything. It, it just feels terrible. I hate this mouse. Yeah, like, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I'm just trying to move it. And it's like, it's going all over the place. So something is like desperately wrong. Maybe it's because there's too much lube. Yeah, there's not like a whole ton of lubrication on the actual wheels. The ball itself is relatively dry. And it's just, there is a significant amount of residue all right so considering we have a car mouse it seemed like a racing game would be quite appropriate and i was going to play a nascar title but i don't have any on hand at least that i know of that support mouse controls so we're going with an old standby here midtown madness 2 these games uh well each of the ones on pc support the mouse so here we go it is a perfect day for racing not a cloud in sight perfect day for racing but not a perfect way to race oh my word this is already bad i didn't even move the mouse really there and i'm just turning yeah it's just Ooh, vague steering at best uh <laughs> this thing is so bad so uh oh nope nope well that's probably for the best so yeah left click to gas right click to brake and uh, supposedly moving the mouse is steering, but wow, it's just, it is all over the place. Let's turn down the sensitivity of the mouse, change the dead zone. Yeah, that's a little better. Uh, either way, the mouse is still supremely uncomfortable. I hate it. <laughs> this is one of the single worst uh, mice that I've, I've used on this mini series here on LGR. This is truly terrible. Seriously, the clickiness, that feels fine. Everything else is truly, truly bad. Viagra, I expected significantly better performance in action. That is atrocious. All right, ready to start thinking fourth dimensionally with the 4D mouse here from A4 Tech. Uh, made in 1998 or 2001, I'm not entirely sure. And this is the wireless version of the 4D mouse. I think there was also a wired one. Maybe that was the one that was in 1998. Uh, the reason I'm slightly unsure of the date here is because uh, like it says, it's won awards in 1998. <laughs> and then also uh, 2001 as well, tested by this magazine in 2001. So I think this one is just from 2001. Anyway, this is one of those 4D mouse products. This was a whole trend in the late 90s, around the turn of the millennium, that whole several years there. There were dozens of different 4D mouse products. In fact, I'm constantly getting sent this same photo over and over and over for years now. The WinBest 4D mouse. 
I've looked for one for a long time, never actually found one to cover, but I did find this one at a thrift store also many years ago, but uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty much all the same from what I can tell. The 4D really just stands for four directions. So you've got vertical and horizontal scrolling. That's it. It doesn't have anything to do with peeking into unobservable space time or anything like that. Um, Otherwise, it's just a mouse. What is kind of interesting about this one, though, is it has some extra software here. This deluxe eye wheel works. Guess we'll see what that is. Uh, longest battery life, apparently. Yeah, it's a wireless mouse and optical. Oh yeah, look at all this other stuff. We're gonna have some software to look at. Uh, anyway, A4 Tech. So they've been around since 1987. And in fact, they're still around, based in Taipei, Taiwan, and they've been making mice since the late 80s, but also keyboards and speakers and headphones, and webcams, random gaming peripherals. Uh, nowadays, they actually have a gaming brand, the Bloody Gaming brand since 2011, making silly gaming stuff. But the one thing that I really know them for, uh, A4 Tech, is this right here, the PG-5 PC gun. It is uh, one of the very few light gun options for DOS and Windows PCs. A future video topic indeed. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get this thing out of its box and just take a look at it. All right, so we have a very simple looking user guide here. Wireless two wheel mouse. That's just not as interesting as calling it 4D, is it? Anyway, setting the receiver up is probably gonna be the main thing here. Otherwise, it's just a mouse. Kind of interesting that they still have a section here on cleaning the mouse ball housing. This is an optical mouse, right? No, it's not. What? Optical mouse. This really does make it look like this is an optical mouse, right? <laughs> okay. Um, and then wheel works. Vertical scrolling, horizontal scrolling. Auto scrolling, zoom, lucky jump, net jump, and command menu. Uh huh. All right. So here is our wireless, not optical mouse. Yeah. Not nearly as lubed up as uh, our Viagra was, but hey, it does the job. Uh, I got a couple of AAA batteries and I'm gonna go in there. Yeah. It actually feels pretty nice. It's got a nice weight to it, a uh, nice shape. Pretty satisfying clicks, honestly, and those wheels aren't bad either. They're not very uh, loud wheels. That one clicks. The, I guess So I guess this is middle mouse technically, and this is just another scroll wheel. <laughs> it scrolls horizontally. There's our infrared. Oh, hey, and it actually does have batteries, which we will not be using, but there they are. Okay, so we have a three and a half mil stereo audio cable. Why? What is this? What is this? I'm really not seeing any mention of that. <laughs> so the uh, the PS2 receiver here, I mean, yeah, just that's a PS2 mouse connection with infrared on the other end and you are attaching that to the side or bottom of your monitor. Got uh, ooh, Velcro. There is uh, the software here. I am quite intrigued to see the extra things that it's supposed to do. I like that the, uh, the picture of the keyboard there is been mirrored and get the numpad on the left and some factory worker's fingerprint is permanently stuck onto there. Well, so far this is interesting for all kinds of reasons that I was not anticipating. Uh, all right, let's check out the 4D mouse. All right, fourth dimensional mouse usage is about to be tested. So we've got it plugged in, so to speak, uh, which means that the receiver is just plugged into the PS2 port. Got a little, uh, thingy right there just attached to the bottom of the monitor with the velcro as recommended in the manual and it straight up just works immediately you can see the little leds light up there whenever it gets any kind of information from the mouse and i am surprised at how well this works even under full led lighting different distances and angles i mean it seems pretty foolproof no drivers no software required this is awesome <laughs> for, uh, I, yeah, as, as old as it is. I mean, this is phenomenal, but yeah. Also comes with this iWheel Works program, which is sort of an extension really of just the regular mouse properties in Windows. But yeah, it adds on to there so that you can do different things to the buttons. Um, 
mainly the third button or the middle mouse button. You can assign all sorts of Windows functionality or these uh, lucky jump and net jump options, which is actually pretty neat. So uh, check this out. If you press the middle mouse button anywhere on screen, you get this menu that pops up uh, just wherever. And yeah, it's a selection of different shortcuts. So your favorite website, whatever you choose, uh, start menu, command menu, mouse properties, Windows Explorer, uh, desktop, um, some different scrolling options, documents, volume control, run, find, notepad, close application, expand, or maximize applications. And that's just the uh, the net jump one. There's also, or sorry, the lucky jump one. The net jump one is basically the same thing. It just brings up more internet focused things. So like Internet Explorer, back, forward, favorites, that kind of stuff. So. But yeah, look at this. You can just straight up customize these menus with whatever you want, or you can create your own entirely custom command menu. So you can have it open up, do whatever really. This is really awesome. I don't know if I'd ever use this kind of a pop-up menu. I never have traditionally, but I really enjoy that it's there. I'm really enjoying this mouse, daggone it, and the software. And I didn't even have to use the confusing <laughs> three and a half mil stereo audio cable. Still don't know what in the heck this is for. Um, anyway, so let's go ahead and test out its main feature, which is of course the uh, 4D scrolling. So naturally we can scroll up and down, but if we get into something that goes beyond the resolution of your screen, we can scroll that way too. Oh man, we can scroll both ways at once. That's, that's what this does. <laughs> That's a 4D mouse. Admittedly, it was probably pretty useful for, uh, you know, lower resolution, early internet browsing, which was pretty common at the time. You often were using a computer at something like, um, you know, 640 by 480 or even 800 by 600. But honestly, most websites were optimized for 800 by 600 in my experience, at least by the time this thing came out. So you'd get into, you know, something like we were seeing earlier, and look, now you don't even have a horizontal scroll at all. Like, it's, it's just vertical, because the sites were typically optimized for 800 by 600, and of course, if you had anything higher resolution, I mean, this Dagon monitor goes all the way up to 2048 by 1536, or 1920 by 1440 in Windows 98. Anyway, about the only thing that is slightly weird is when you're moving it really, really fast. Like, if you're doing that, okay, that's fine, but if you do this, it starts going all over the place. Like it can't keep up. It, it starts drifting. I mean, I don't know if that'd ever be a problem in any real use case, but it's a little strange. It's just so let's play a game. And I was feeling some Virtua Squad 2 here. So PC version of Virtua Cop 2. I was just thinking like this A4 tech company with their light gun. Uh, and since I don't have uh, an actual hey, light gun to play this, I like, this is kind of an in-between. It's like inspired by light guns, but you're playing with a mouse. Let's go. I don't know, in my mind, this and this were connected. So, all right. Oh yeah, dude. This thing is awesome. Don't shoot. I will shoot you if I want to. Yeah, I'm only getting a little bit of that like drifting around slightly here and there, but that's mostly down to me just like moving around the cursor really quick, trying to like find a guy to shoot. Honestly though, I have so few complaints here. This is just, <laughs> this is just a fantastic mouse. Wow. I would have been really satisfied with it back in the day. Uh, and I am now. And the neat little software bonus is just a, a nice bonus. Props to A4 Tech. Okay. Let's take a shot with this thing. <laughs> this is the bullet mouse. <laughs> this has a shape to it, doesn't it? Uh, can't wait to plug this in. Anyway, this is the bullet mouse, the original rifle bullet computer mouse. Uh, actually, sorry, bullet mouse is the company. The rifle bullet is the name of the mouse model featuring stepped down key positioning. 
Aha, uh -huh. ergonomic superiority, easy to grip. That's good. These are all attributes you want in a product like this. No gun required, durable electroplate finish. Oh man, what is this thing? The original rifle bullet even, it's actually not that. I uh, looked up the old website in 2001, the original actually came in brass. Uh, this is the version from 2002 and they seem to have sold this for Eh, four or five years or something before they went under, or I don't know, the website went down in the mid 2000s. Anyway, this was uh, sold directly by Bullet Mouse LLC from their Invergrove Heights, Minnesota house, I guess. That's what the address says on their website. And it was also available at retail, I suppose anyway. They, they offered wholesale options to retailers. I just found this while thrifting. And they even offered customized company logos. So you could just stick your logo right on there. Yeah, that's, that's what everybody needs. Oh man, the rifle bullet is more than just cool looking. It's debatable if it is at all. Its unique shape provides optimal response from hand movements. And also says you can download free mouse driver software, the website, I looked through the old archives, there were no such thing that I could find, but yeah, whatever, it's whatever, whatever. It, it is what it is. Let's just get this apart. Cause up till now it's just been sitting inside this package for however long I've had it. I've never actually touched it with my fingers. Okay. Well, I gotta say that actually doesn't feel that bad in terms of uh, ergonomic superiority. Scroll wheel is kind of unsatisfying and rather small. It does click though. My fingers are wanting to just slide off the edges just cause I mean, it's so uh, shaped. And that silver finish uh, doesn't seem to be picking up too much in terms of fingerprints or bodily excretions. I mean, not that I have a whole lot. I mean, it's just, you know, finger juice, but I got a USB here and a PS2 adapter, just standard stuff right there. And, uh, oh yeah, it is a ball. So let's get this ball out of here. Yeah, very cheap, sharp edged plastic all around. Ooh, don't like that. I was wondering about that. Cause like it does have these little slidey bits. It's almost lower the edges of the plastic than the slidey bits, <laughs> the low friction attachments. Yeah, you could, it just, it's, it's like it's scraping up against the table. All right. Oh, you do get a bullet mouth sticker. <laughs> oh, I am very glad to have that. We're gonna have to apply that somewhere. <laughs> it's so, so goofy. The M looks like a W. The bullet, wow, what a design. Anyway, yeah, that's that's all you get there in terms of instructions. Uh, you plug it in and enjoy. I will do just that. Let us plug this sucker in. All right, uh, so our, uh, our thing is plugged in. And you know what? It's fine. It's actually much better on a surface, like a mouse pad instead of just a raw desk. I don't recommend going raw with this. Uh, definitely needs something between the bullet and the bottom, uh, so to speak. And amusingly, I forgot I still had this going from the last mouse, so you can still use that A4 tech pop-up thingy. So, I mean, of course, it's just a program that runs no matter what mouse you have plugged in, but anyway. Um, this didn't actually come with anything. And again, I did look on the website. It said it was supposed to come with some kind of a driver. It'd be cool if it came with like a little shooting mini game or, or something even slightly related to it, but it's a mouse. Um, and honestly, the shape of it is not bad at all. It is actually quite ergonomically superior. I don't know actually if it's superior to anything, but it is ergonomic enough. Um, you know, my finger parts of my fingers go to different parts of the mouse here. They just sort of naturally rest on the ridges there. The overall design of the the end cap <laughs> is um kind of comfortable. The only thing I'm not so keen on, again, really, is that tiny little wheel. And especially because it's, it's very easy to press the mouse buttons when you're trying to just click the wheel. But, eh, you know, whatever. As I was saying earlier, my fingers do tend to want to just like go to the sides 
as opposed to the middle there, but I'm already getting used to it. This is not bad. This is a perfectly tolerable mouse. And uh, a game, I mean, you know, we gotta play something equally silly for such a, a goofy gun-related thing. So we got Redneck Deer Hunting, a realistic hunting game. Yeah, this is the build engine hunting spin-off of Redneck Rampage. This existed. It is a thing. So let's try it out with the bullet mouse. No, I'm not gonna register. Yeah, let's go hunting at Lake Swampy with, uh, what do we want here? Uh, this is like the rifle mouse, right? Let's get the rifle. Yay, hunting. I don't actually remember how to play this. It's been many years. All right, so F1 draws weapon, F2 reloads. Always got to uh, appreciate a game with a dedicated turkey button. <laughs> I don't even know what was over there. I saw pixels. <laughs> I think it was a duck. Uh, again, I got no real complaints. In fact, I, I, I'm kind of liking this just ridged design, you know? The more I play around with it. Because it's just, it's a natural resting place for your different fingers. Eh. Eh. Who knew? Yeah, take that, ducks. You like decoys? Well, decoys ain't working. We gonna go down this way, see if we can find something else. Mm -hmm. No. Got my junk all soggy. Gonna let that air out for a bit. I'm right, gonna try the uh, rifle with the scope, which I should have done to begin with. <laughs> Not that it helps much. Maybe the water is the wrong approach. Let's see what's in these woods, man. Gotta be some critters over here. These definitely pixels. I don't know if that's a duck, but <laughs> it was. Yeah, got it. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Uh, let's just go talk range real quick, and uh, I'll do shotgun. Yeah, that's more like it. Actually, don't even know if this is a single shot. What is this? It is. Okay. Yeah. It's a highly accurate shotgun. All right. Anyway, uh, the bullet mouse. You know, as a normal mouse with a kind of silly design, it is not bad at all. Still not as good as the A44D, but yeah, good stuff. If you enjoyed this episode about some weird mouse products, then I believe that you would enjoy some of the previous ones that I've made, or any number of other retro things already on the channel and stuff that is in the works that will be appearing here on LGR soon. And as always, thank you for watching.